Welcome, Scrollgers, to another episode of Scrolls Top 5 Plays of the Week. Remember to send your Scrolls Top Plays to NerfTheNinja at gmail.com to be featured in the series and win some extra gold. Without further ado, here are the Top 5 Plays of the Week. Leading off the countdown at number 5 is a play by Bronal against Blinky. Bronal has clearly lost the board to Blinky, and it looks like only a matter of time before he loses. Blinky makes a fatal mistake of only protecting the 10 health auto with one unit. A flip of the Rod Eater, a blessing of base on the Vanguard, a focus, and another focus gives just enough damage to take out the 10 health idol and win the game. Well played, Bronal. At number 4 on the countdown is a similar situation. This time, Iron Balls is about to lose next turn having no defense for his bottom 4 health idol and no way to destroy Oslohan's healthy knights. Iron Balls plays a Bombard to have all his units attack and then a double machinated on his cannon edit to complete the surprise win. Iron Balls stole the victory right from Oslohan's grasp. At number 3 we have Carnalizer, Scrolls Production Manager, facing Color Plant's deadly board with only an Ancestral Totem and a Brother of the Wolf in play. With the Clandestine Orchard already out, Carnalizer plays Fleetness on the Brother of the Wolf. You know what that means, Infinite Wolves. We've seen this happen before on the test server a month ago, but that was when Lingering Spells stacked. It's much harder to do now because you need Fleetness, but Carnalizer pulls it off. Number 2 is a play by Danatron and an Ultimate Highlander match versus me. Ultimate Highlander is a made up game mode where each player plays a deck containing exactly one of every scroll in the game. It looks as if I have secured the match, with so many of my units attacking next turn, and an infectious blight on his harvester. Danatron moves his row of units downward, plays a crown of strength on his Ironclad Reaver, and unleash inner power, and an end of reason to clear the row and win the game with a 9 attack Ironclad Reaver. What a play, let's see that one again. Danatron wisely played the Crown of Strength on his Ironclad Reaver to increase its health by 2, which makes unleash inner power that much more potent. Then the end of reason destroyed his units that weren't attacking to clear my row of units, which opened a clear path for the Ironclad Reaver to smash the idol behind. That last play was outrageously awesome. What in the world could top that? Well, possibly the best scrolls combo ever. Before this play starts, let me say that Franconi is a genius for having figured this all out. He was able to get infinite move, infinite scrolls, infinite resources, and infinite curse. Watch and see. Franconi plays a pilgrimer's feet on his wings captain already enchanted with fleetness. Also take note of the Pillar Fatigue on Franconi's side. Next he puts a Searing Shackles which will mean it will take 2 damage whenever it moves, but the Pilgrim's Feet negates that damage because of the Magic Armor and the healing. Then a Vengeance Veil means that whenever it takes damage, it gets counted down, and remember, when Wings Captain is counted down to 0, it gets moved too. Now on Franconi's following turn is where the magic really happens. Franconi then plays his Night Scholar, the Infinite Scrolls Machine then a double soldier's bond on the wings captain. This means that whenever the wings captain takes damage, units on the same row will count down by two, and the wings captain takes damage when it moves because of the searing shackles, but the damage will never kill it because of the pilgrim's feet, and the wings captain can run around the board forever, but see he gets moved too when he counts down to zero, which is when he moves because the searing shackles damage triggers the vengeance veil, which counts him down to zero. And since waypoints, you can use Scroll's abilities multiple times per turn, which is why you can draw a scroll from the Night Scholar every time it gets to zero countdown during the same turn. And now he plays the Uhu for infinite resource ramp. 
and the curse monger for infinite curse. Keep in mind this would also work with stitchers and brother of the wolf, so you can get infinite wolves and infinite stitching. That's it for today, remember to like the video if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content like this. Congratulations to Franconia for coming up with this brilliant combo. Remember to submit your plays to nerfninja at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, and keep on scrolling, scrollsers. I'll see you tomorrow.